what's up guys it's danny james over here in this video i'll be showing you how to troubleshoot some of the rotoscoping errors that you might find while editing let's get into it i'll use this footage over here to show you some of the errors that you can solve while doing rotoscope on your subjects the first major error is usually a frame rate mismatch if you click right on your footage over here i can see that my footage is at 25 fps if i also click on the comp itself it's at 25 fps unlike other videos that you might have seen where people deliberately set these fps wrongly so that they can show you the error i want to do that instead i'll just explain why that happens so if i go back to my comp settings and for example put this to 30 fps if i take my roto brush tool uh, double click and go into my layer if i try to highlight my subject right around here you can see it will give me this error because of the frame rate mismatch and the easiest way to sort this is by going back to your project pin you either click on your comp and rectify it, put it to the same FPS, and now it should uh, respond almost immediately. We need to delete the rotor again, and then it's almost like we are starting from scratch, and you can see it will go on perfectly well. So before I go to the next error that you might face, I think it's also important if I show you this small hack that you can use during this process you can view what's happening in the comp simultaneously with the selection tool drag the comp and set it right here and that way you'll have both of them side to side you can also click here to toggle transparency and then keep on going frame by frame under the layers tab as you also see the final output in your other screen so this is just a little hack that i wanted to include on this one one other error that you might also come across is the last frame not being rotated. So if I cut this clip, let's say somewhere around here, Control Shift D, I'll start rotoscoping from here, pick my roto brush tool. So let's just assume we are trying to go along with this selection. If we go to our next frame, okay, you can see that it rotos it very well. If we go on, I just want to go on until the last frame. Now you can see right on this last frame, my roto brush kind of disappears. And that is because if you look closely right, right here, you can extend the time by dragging that to your right and it will go on and pick up on that roto. And one other hack that I also thought about right now is that instead of tweaking these settings over here, what I will do is that go to your effects and add a soft refine mat okay it's a refined soft mat put it on once you've dragged it on because you can see it, it comes with this inbuilt feather put this to zero and this is at the same time accounting that you haven't tweaked these parameters right over here put that right to zero and the advantage of having this is that you can refine the edge while seeing the edge region once you've clicked right here so you can tweak these parameters the shift edge and all of that and then click back on the view edge region and it should give you a glimpse of the edges of your clip so this is more of, a, of an add-on if you did enjoy this one then i'd also recommend watching this other video i show you how to solve the error compiling movie that shows up on adobe premiere that's it from me today see you guys next peace out